Oh, what's up? What, you guys want a setup tour? Oh, for sure, yeah, come on in. I'm just kidding, I don't actually have anybody filming this. Look, the phone is literally sitting on a chair. We're gonna do this, come on. All right, so this is our office, AKA my stream room. And as soon as we walk in, we turn to the left and here we have King T'Challa. You guys watch the stream videos, you'll see him just kind of chilling, uh, creeping in the background. That's Swanson. And he's mad because I've shut a lot of doors and he can't get into different rooms. Over here, we have a wall. It's blank, it's beautiful. Eventually we want to put something on it. I actually have this really cool Kobe Bryant uh, canvas that a friend gifted to me and it's really cool. Problem is, it's huge and I have to convince my wife to let me hang that up. Over here, this is our beautiful, comfortable, poofy chair. I don't actually know the real name for this chair, but it's very poofy and it's comfortable. I have taken many naps in this chair. These are a collection of different uh, a jersey and some pictures that I have autographed by some athletes. So let me show you guys who here. So, so this is Eddie George. Of course, I'm a Titans fan, so this one was really cool. Famous Titans running back, Russell Westbrook, back when he played for the Thunder which is cool now because he plays for the Lakers, my favorite team, so that's dope. Tyler Hansborough, I'm a big North Carolina fan. Tyler is probably the greatest North Carolina player ever. Derek Fisher, one of the most clutch Lakers players of all time, won five championships alongside Kobe Bryant. That's just me and my wife. How cute is that? This is a shirt autographed by former Indiana basketball coach Tom Crean. We got a poster autographed by Kevin Durant. And then I don't wanna pick this up because it's too heavy, but you can see this is an autographed jersey by the one and only Ron Artest back when he played for the Lakers. Over here we have a guitar. And you guys are probably wondering right now, man, I didn't realize he was talented enough and he could play guitar. Well, joke's on you guys, because as it turns out, I cannot. As you can clearly tell, this guitar is completely out of tune, has not been tuned in years. Uh, if you guys were really observant, you would have noticed all the dust that's accumulated on this guitar. Honestly, I don't know why it's in here, but it's there and it looks cool and it makes it seem like I'm more talented than I actually am. This is our window. As you can see, the view is luxurious. I know you guys are jealous right now. Look at that beautiful street. This is Swanson's chair. This is where Swanson 95% of the time sits when I'm gaming. The other 5%, he's usually climbing on the desk behind my monitor or up on the shelves where he's not allowed to be. But 95% of the time, this is where he is. And now to the desk where half of it looks really cool and the other half is a hot stinking mess. So we actually created this desk ourselves uh, along with the help of my wife's dad. It is actually one long desk made up of four pieces of wood that stretch 11 feet across and this is just our pile of stuff. Um, these are our game cabinets, where, as you can see, we store our games. We actually have a lot of games. We love playing games. It's one of my wife and I's favorite thing to do in our free time. And so we have two cabinets full of games. But now let's get into what y'all really wanna see and what you guys really came for and what really isn't that impressive, but you guys kept asking for it, and so I'm giving it to you anyway. The gaming setup. Okay, so here we have my Secret Lab Titan chair. Guys, this chair is the greatest chair you will ever sit in in your life. It is huge, it is comfortable, it is soft and it is not cheap, but I promise you, this is the last chair you would ever need in your life, whether you use it for gaming, or whether you just use it as an office chair or whatever. It's like $400, but man, it's worth, like it's so worth it. And you can tell Swanson loves it because you can see all the hair that I have not swept up. Three monitors set up right now. They are not mounted to the wall, so I just have them all as is sitting on the desk. Eventually I may mount them, however, I'm still rearranging a lot and so I don't want to mount something and then decide that that's not where I want to put it because that's a little harder to fix and so we just have the three monitors my best monitor is this one right here this is my main primary monitor the one that I game on this is my BenQ monitor it is 240 Hertz 
and it has a, I believe, one millisecond refresh rate. Swanson wants to play. He brought me his ball. This is one of his favorite toys, isn't it? Yeah, you love this, right? You guys can watch him run down the hall. This is what he does all the time. Ready? Okay, we're gonna throw it. And there he goes. I had a bad throw because that was my left hand. Normally he would chase that, grab it, fetch it, bring it back. He's gonna play with it anyway. What a good sport. This is my keyboard. As you can tell, it has not been cleaned in some time. I need to get on that. My keyboard is an Apex Pro TK, or Steel Series Apex Pro TKL, I believe is the actual name of it. I love it, it is a fantastic keyboard. I have no complaints, I would highly recommend it. I have custom keycaps in order for me to feel my WASD as well as my uh, caps lock button because I use that for editing when I play Fortnite and so it's easy for me to find that and make that home space for me. This is my microphone and my mic stand or my mic arm. I absolutely love this. This is brand new. I've only had it for less than a month. It is an Elgato Wave 3 mic and I could not recommend this highly enough to anybody. Also, this arm is the Elgato Wave mic arm, so it's specifically built for this mic. It was a little pricier, but to me it was worth it. Whenever I buy stuff, I like to get the best that I can because I know that it's gonna last and I'm gonna use it a lot, so yeah. It's my ring light and my webcam. Webcam is a Logitech C920, I believe is what that is. And the ring light is nothing special. I don't actually know the, the, the brand name for that. You can Esker, maybe that's what it is. I don't know, it's a ring light, it works. Eventually I wanna upgrade. I would like to have dual lighting. That way I could have some actual fill and key lighting, but uh, we'll get there someday. My headset, I just use one of my old Turtle Beach headsets that I had when I played Xbox One. And there she is, the beauty, the PC. I stream and I game from this computer, so no dual PC streaming, just one PC that runs it all. And for everything that it does, it honestly handles it super well. Uh, again, I, I put a decent amount of money into this, but I also knew that it was a long-term investment. And so for me, it was well worth it. I have uh, my, my little beanie baby up there. It's also a picture of me and my wife again. How cute, and Swanson on his birthday. How adorable. I'm a big fan of Zelda. This actually might be my favorite game of all time, Zelda Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. Uh, I would actually like to stream this game a little bit more from start to finish. It is an absolute marvel to play. I mean, I mean, it's just incredible. And eventually I wanna get some more stuff on this wall. Might even put some of my autographed pictures up here, but I'm still debating on what I wanna fill that with. So uh, these are just some keepsakes that mean a lot to me and things that I've accumulated over the course of about a year or so and uh, just little collectibles. And so we have an assortment of things. I have a Pez collection. This is actually kind of funny because I didn't intentionally start a Pez collection. I believe my wife went to a store one time and found the Thanos and the Black Panther Pez like dirt cheap. I'm talking like 50 cents and she was like, oh, Nick likes Marvel. I'm gonna get him these. And so she bought them and gave them to me as gifts because I do actually like Pez. I'm just not obsessed enough to start a collection. So I thought, cool, I'll put that in my stream room. Not too much longer after that, someone who uh, I know, friend of mine, just as a gift, they knew I liked The Office. They bought me a Daryl Philbin Pez dispenser. I went out and I bought this Squirtle Pez dispenser on my own. Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon, as you can probably tell. Here he is chilling over my computer. My wife got me the Baby Yoda Pez dispenser. I think she did, maybe someone else got that for me. I don't remember. My favorite Pez dispenser though, has to be the Loki one. Uh, Loki is one of my favorite Marvel characters and honestly his Pez dispenser is just super, super cool. I have a collection of sports and Pokemon cards, the Brandon Ingram card, as well as the Derrick Henry card, as well as the Derrick Henry rookie card were all gifted to me by friends. And so shout out to Vinny and Kyle. Kobe Bryant, my favorite sports athlete ever, my idol, rest in peace Mamba. And so I have hit two of his rookie cards actually, which are super cool. I don't think these are actually worth too much. Um, and if they were, I don't think I'd sell them anyway. Uh, I just like having these. Ray Allen was always one of my favorite players growing up, and so I have his rookie card. And then these are just some of my favorite Pokemon cards that I still have left over. I used to have a huge collection when I was young, pretty sure we sold them at a garage sale, rip, because they're actually worth a whole lot now. Wish I would've kept those. Um, but Blastoise, again, Squirtle being one of my favorite. Blastoise, by extension, is one of my favorites. Zapdos is my favorite legendary bird. That card just looks cool. 
Machamp is one of my favorite Pokemon in general, first edition. That's probably my favorite card just because it's a first edition original collection. I don't know if that's actually worth anything, um, but it's cool. And then this uh, Meryl card, I don't know. It's Japanese and the outside of the card is holographic, which I just thought was really neat. Finally up top, we have this Kobe Bryant painting that again, my friend Vinny Bain painted for me. Thank you, Vinny. Shout out to you for some more stream decoration. I have a Fortnite llama. I actually painted this llama. And this isn't like the time when I told you guys I could play guitar and lied about it. I actually did paint this. Uh, and, and so I'm fairly proud of this because I'm not what I would consider an artistic person. Along with the office collection, I have a Dwight K. Schrute figurine. He even has his own bobblehead and nunchucks, which I think is just fantastic. And then we have a LeBron James bobblehead, one of the goats. This is an Among Us stuffed animal that a friend of mine actually made for me. Like she literally made this. And so shout out to Grayson for making that. Uh, this is a gift that someone gave me. I have an obsession with Doritos Cool Ranch and any time that I find a Doritos Cool Ranch chip with a ton of seasoning, I take a picture and send it to a couple friends. One of those friends decided to make me the ultimate Cool Ranch trip. And then this is just a memorial to my cat that died. Uh, not Swanson, Swanson's well and good. He's alive, he's right behind me. And that's it guys, that is the setup. Like I said, I know it's not much, but you guys have been asking for it for a long time, and so I wanted to give that to you. And actually, I'm getting ready to stream right now. It's Friday, and so we're getting ready to hop on the Friday afternoon stream, and I'm really excited to play with some of you guys. Can't wait. Stay tuned. I'm hoping that this is going to be the start of something new for the YouTube channel, and I need your guys' help as well. As you guys think of things that you want to see content-wise from me on the YouTube channel, let me know. Let me know in the comments, let me know in the Twitch chat, and I would love to make content that you guys want to watch. So I can't wait to see what else comes of this, and I can't wait to stream and hang with you guys in just a couple of minutes. Peace out, we'll see you guys next time.